Hi, kindergartners. It's time for reading today. I'm really excited to be back with you, and we are going to continue learning about reading nonfiction. That's right. We're going to be reading real information that gives us facts like we learned last week. If you remember last week, we talked a lot about thinking about what we already know, our background knowledge, and when we read nonfiction, sometimes we find out that, hey, that is true what I already knew, and then we learn new facts. And if you remember, Mrs. Optic was so excited to read to you about pumpkins. And I set the purpose for reading to find out how a pumpkin grew. And I read all about pumpkins on Pebble Go, and yeah, I learned a lot of new facts, but I still didn't learn how a pumpkin grows. Well, boys and girls, that's something else good readers do. They ask questions, and that helps them figure out what they want to learn about as they read. So I am still wondering, how does a pumpkin grow? So I thought, I would find out. I found a nonfiction book about pumpkins. It's called Perfect Pumpkins, and it was written by Jeff Bauer. I'm thinking that author must have a lot of knowledge and facts about pumpkins. So I'm really excited today to see if I can find the answer to that question. How does a pumpkin grow. Oh, something just, just fell out of my book. What could it be? Let's see. Oh, it says Mrs. Opdyke. Oh, I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna open it and find out what it says. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, it says top secret mission. I challenge you. Oh, I think they're talking about me. Oh my gosh, let me read this top secret mission. It says, as you read about pumpkins, see if you can answer these questions to help you learn how they grow. Oh, well, that's the question I asked. Oh, let's see what questions they want me to answer. What needs to be planted to grow a pumpkin? That's a good question. That would definitely help me find out how they grow. Where do pumpkins grow? Hmm. That's a good question. Do they grow on a tree? Do they grow on a bush, a plant? Maybe my book will tell me. What does a pumpkin look like before it turns into a baby pumpkin? Hmm. I'll be interested to find the answer to that question. And how do you know a pumpkin is ready to pick? Oh, I bet that's really important to know. You don't wanna pick a pumpkin too early. Oh, wow. I'm really excited about this mission because if I find the answer to these questions, I'm really gonna learn how does a pumpkin grow? So boys and girls, I think I'm gonna dive right into my book to find the answer to these questions. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna keep my questions right in front of me. Perfect pumpkins. Mm. Oh, it has a table of contents. Oh, chapter one's all about pumpkins. Chapter two is growing pumpkins. I bet that's when I'm gonna find out my answers to these secret mission questions and pumpkin treats. I think there might be some information I already knew in here, but let's find out. Chapter one, all about pumpkins. Do you know what is great about pumpkins? Every pumpkin is different. Take a peek. Well, I can tell from the photograph, they sure do look different. Pumpkins can be tall or short. They can be smooth or bumpy or round or lopsided. That is definitely a fact I already knew. I've been to the pumpkin patch and I've seen it with my own eyes that they look different. Oh, there's a fun fact up here. 
pumpkins are not vegetables. They are a kind of fruit called a gourd. Oh, well, that's definitely a new fact for me. I didn't know that they're called a gourd or that they were a fruit. How interesting. I still haven't found any answers to these questions. Let's see. Pumpkins can be small or big. We found that out last week, so that confirms my background knowledge. This little white pumpkin weighs less than one pound. Oh, look at that tiny little white pumpkin. And it says this little white pumpkin is called a baby boo. Well, that's something I never knew. I didn't know pumpkins could be white, and I didn't know they were called baby boo. What an interesting fact. This giant orange pumpkin weighs 450 pounds. Oh my goodness, look how big that pumpkin is. Do you know what's inside of a pumpkin? It's full of gooey pop. I knew there was this, this slimy stuff inside pumpkins because I've carved one before, but I didn't know it was called pop. That's an interesting fact. There are also lots and lots of seeds, which is a fact we learned last week when we learned about pumpkins. It says these tiny pumpkin seeds can grow into big pumpkins. Oh. Well, one of my first questions was, what needs to be planted to grow a pumpkin? I think this might be giving me a hint. I'm going to predict that it's a pumpkin seed. But let's keep reading to find out. Let me make sure that's the answer to my question. Chapter two, growing pumpkins. Well, I better be ready to listen for those facts that are going to answer my questions. How do pumpkins grow? Seeds are planted in the spring. The seeds grow into little plants that poke through the ground. Well, my friends, I definitely found the answer to my first question. What needs to be planted to grow a pumpkin? Well, right here in the text, it says, Seeds are planted. The seeds grow into the little plants. So right there, I found the answer to my first question. I'm going to give that a big check. I found the answer to that one. All right, my next question was, where do pumpkins grow? Hmm. Let's, let's see if I can figure that one out. All right. Well, the plants poking through the ground. Let's see. The plants keep growing until they are long and twisty. Now they are called vines. Oh, that confirms the fact we learned last week. The vines have pretty yellow flowers. The flower looks like this. Oh, close. I didn't know that. That's a new fact for me. That they grow from the seed to a sprout that then grows a flower. I did not know that. But you know what? I think I did find an answer to where do pumpkins grow. Well, they grow from a vine, and the vine grows from the ground. So pumpkins grow on the ground from a vine, not from a tree like apples, not from a bush like berries. They grow from a vine on the ground. So. I answered question number two. Only two more questions to complete my secret mission. What does a pumpkin look like before it turns into a baby pumpkin? How do you know a pumpkin is ready to pick? All right, let's keep reading and see if I can find those answers. Some of the flowers turn into baby pumpkins. In summer, the pumpkins are green and tiny, but each day, to get a little bigger. And it says pumpkins need both sun and water to grow. Wait a minute. I think I found the answer. What does a pumpkin look like before it turns into a baby pumpkin? Well, what happens before that? I can even look at the photograph. It's a flower. It looks like a yellow flower before it grows into this baby pumpkin. 
So not only do the words help Mrs. Optic answer her questions, and sometimes the photographs do too. Mm -hmm. I answered that third question. I got one more to go until my mission is complete. How do you know a pumpkin is ready to pick? In fall, the pumpkins are all grown up. They are also bright orange and ready to pick. And the cat says pumpkins grow in a pumpkin patch. Answer more to where do pumpkins grow? They grow on the ground off a vine in the pumpkin patch. It says it right here. But I think I found the last answer. I spoke to someone I know. How do you know a pumpkin's ready to pick? They told us right on this page. Go ahead, whisper it. Oh my goodness, I think I'm hearing what I'm thinking. Well, if I look right here, it says the pumpkins are all grown up in the fall. So in the fall, they're ready to pick. And then it says they are also bright orange and ready to pick. So I think the answer to that is, you know a pumpkin's ready to pick when it's fall and it's turned bright orange. Boys and girls, I am so excited. I answered all four questions from my secret mission envelope. I did it by listening and reading so that I found the facts that answered those questions. And those answers are right in the words and sometimes in the photographs. So my friends, your teacher has a top secret mission for you. Get ready to read the nonfiction to use facts to answer questions. Good luck, readers.